I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you are ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. This week, it's all about falling into fall. That's right. I know it's still hot. I know it's still crazy out there with weather, but we're falling into fall with fashion. We're going to check out the mall and see what they got for us this fall. Get us ready for the fashion season. Yes, that's right. And we're also going to do some investigative journalism. That's right. You heard me. Investigative journalism. Find out which stores really want your business, want to say hello, want to greet you, make you feel good, and which store could care less. So we're going to go in like spies, honey. Jason Bourne got nothing on us. Let's get into the mall, find out what they have, have some fun. All next on Andrew Talks. All right, my friends, we have made it out of the mall. We did it. Yes, we did. We did it. We made it out of our spy games here at the mall to find some great looks. And we also found some big misses. Let's go. Re- let's review. Are you ready? Let's review. Go over some of the great stores that we saw and some of them. What were they thinking? Lord have mercy. Let's start with the Lord have mercy. J.C. Penny, what happened? What happened, J.C. Penny? Ladies, ladies, I'm talking straight to you. Please don't go to J.C. Penny and buy anything. It was horrible. I haven't seen so many prints in my life. There were animals there. There were flowers there. It looked like I walked into a zoo and the botanical gardens at the same time. Do not go to J.C. Petty. Save your money. Go someplace else. I'm sorry, J.C. Petty. It's only one man's opinion, but I was disappointed. It was really, really some ugly stuff. Ugly stuff. And please, please, all Andrew Talk viewers, if you see anybody wearing some J.C. Petty, be a friend and tell them to take it off because it's not cute. It's not cute. They did have a nice active wear section for the ladies. I will give you that, J.C. Penny. But everything else, horrid. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Now let's go to a positive, a big win, and I am shocked to say this. The Gap? Excuse me. Go ahead with your bad selves. First of all, their new layout is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, best customer service I've had all day at the mall. I was asked several times if I was doing okay, if I can get a size, if I knew what I was looking for, if they can help. Great, great customer service. And the clothing. Wow, Gap. Really nice for fall. Ladies, gentlemen, go to the Gap. Check it out. I even peeked my head in Gap Kids. Really cute stuff for the babies, too. Now, at the Gap, it's a little pricey. So all my frugal Frannies, all my frugal Fredericks, save up your dollars. I was looking at $60 stuff, $90 stuff, because not on clearance yet, not on sale. But really, really nice stuff. So, if you go to the Gap, tell them Andrew sent you. Well, you won't get a discount, but still tell them I sent you. Still tell them I sent you. Really, really nice stuff. I'm proud of you, Gap. You really stepped it up. Some great stuff. Great stuff. Now, a miss, and I'm sort of surprised to mention this because they're usually a go-to for Andrew of Andrew Talks, is Aeropostal. What happened, Aeropostal? First of all, I did not get my usual greeting, which I was heard about. And all everything looked the same, and it was crowded, and it was overpriced. Aeropostal, you hurt my feelings. Not impressed at all. So it was a big miss for Aeropostal. Hopefully you'll pick it up for the winter season. But right now, guys, there was nothing that I saw that was that great. Aeropostal, for those who don't know, it's a younger store. You know, mid-20s, probably as high as you should go be in there unless you're shopping for your child. But, again, sort of disappointed. Didn't really like anything. Um, You'll see, I got video. I got, shh, don't tell nobody. But I got video video of some great looks and some huge misses of of some of our favorite stores. So stay tuned for that, okay? Now I've got to talk about a store that I absolutely loved. Now I already told you about the Gap. Now this one is called the Foreign Exchange. And you're like, Andrew, why I know about the Foreign Exchange? Well, excuse me and I'm mad at you because you should have called me. The Foreign Exchange is terrific. If you are looking for urban chic, European chic clothing, stylish, you know, something that nobody else is going to have, get your behind over to the foreign exchange. I absolutely loved it. Awesome customer service. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Shout out to Justin. He was so friendly. Thank you, Justin. Um, I'm sorry I didn't buy anything, but, you know, we were just do, doing our Jason Bourne thing. Anywho, it was great, great stuff. Again, a little pricey, but there were also some great pieces, $15, $20, some great, great finds. Now, it's for ladies and it's for gentlemen. The gentleman section wasn't that 
big, but they had a lot to offer, at least for me. <laughs> so, trust to believe, I will be back at the Ford Exchange, and I hope you get over there too. Check it out. Again, urban chic, European chic. You could go all the way up to your mid-40s and get away with some of the stuff there at the Ford Exchange. Really, really nice stuff. Check it out. Go over there. Get over there. Really, really nice stuff. Now, I hear what you're saying. Andrew, you mentioned teenagers and kids and, you know, 40s. What about, you know, for the older generation? They want to look cute. They want to look chic. They want to look, you know, on point. Well, trust and believe I looked out for you, too. J. Jill, Ann Taylor, and Ann Taylor Loft. Just go. Just go, my ladies. Go over there. Pick yourself up some happy. Fabulous stuff. Ann Taylor Loft had some beautiful dusty rose colors, some lace. Great, great stuff. J. Jill also had some great stuff for the ladies. And then for my sexy mommies. Hey, mommy. You know who I'm talking about. Get your behind over to Arden B. You should have already known. Great leather jacket. Beautiful peasant dress that I saw in the window. Get over there. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Again, Ann Taylor, J. Jill, Arden B. Little pricey, but it's worth it. Go and treat yourself. Get over to the ball. Stimulate that economy. Lord knows America needs it. Get to the ball. Get you some stuff, okay? Now, we got a lot more to discuss. A lot more. A lot more. Like the Andrew shout out shout out of the week we still got Andrew real talk to do as well so you stay tuned we got a lot more but now I think we're gonna are we Joe Joe oh Joe's trying to handle the camera and everything I think we're gonna go show you some of the great footage that we got of the clothing I hope this is not illegal if it is I didn't do it it wasn't me okay uh it was my twin it was my yeah it was my twin we Andrew Wandrew is, is is the model, not Andrew of Andrew Talks, Wandrew, just in case, for any legal reasons. But yeah, a lot to check out, so enjoy, enjoy. More to come with me, Andrew, on Andrew Talks. It's time for the shout out, shout out moment of the week. And the shout out moment of the week, as you've seen all day long here on Andrew Talks, we've been discussing about fall fashions, falling into fall fashions, and when you are shopping. When you are doing a marathon shop, you're going to need some energy to get through. You're going to need some carbs, baby. You're going to need some carbs when you're doing all this shopping. Hence the shout out of the week. Auntie Anne's, Auntie Anne's pretzels, the best pretzels. Go out, get yourself an Auntie Anne's pretzel. 
There you are. I also like that lemonade. They have delicious lemonade. It's so refreshing, the lemonade. It's really good. So get you some carbs. Get you a little energy to make it through the rest of your shopping experience. So the shout out of the week is Auntie Anne's pretzels. Go and get you one. Get the almond. Almond's my Well, don't get the almond because that's my favorite. And then if I go and they don't have any because you eat it, I'll be really mad. But go, they have a lot of varieties. Tasty. It's about $3 per pretzel. Good stuff. Auntie Anne's pretzel. Shout out of the week. All right, my friends, it's time for the real talk moment. Real talk. That's right, you heard me. Real talk moment of the week. And this week, it's all about treating yourself. That's right, you heard me. Treat yourself. Last week, we talked about not being so critical of ourselves and our bodies. And this week, not every week, but this week, it's okay to treat yourself. Go out. Do that one thing that you wanted to do, but maybe didn't think you had enough money or, well, you're too busy to do this or that. Go out and treat yourself. Everyone deserves a treat every once in a while. So if it's a tasty pretzel or if it's a new pair of pumps, if it's a new jacket, whatever the case may be, go out, treat yourself. Don't feel guilty about it. Everybody needs a little something every once in a while. So that's the real talk moment of the week. Go and treat yourself. Go. Go, I say. Go. Go and treat yourself. And when you do treat yourself, make sure you make it great. Make it great. Whatever you do to treat yourself. And you know it's that time. That's right, my friends. So make it great. Whatever you do, have a great morning. Have a great evening and afternoon. I will see you next time. See you next time. And who knows what we're going to do next time. I might be doing Andrew Talks from jail. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Again, for legal reasons, that was not me modeling. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, everybody have a great day, morning, lunch, whatever. I will see you next time. I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. Bye, everybody.